Hey guys, quick video coming at you today from the shop. I'm gonna show you how to remove a stuck CV axle cup from your front diff or your rear diff, your tranny, whatever. So here we have it. I tried to pull the Rhino 2.0 out of my diff to service this boot here and it came apart inside the clip let go. Sometimes the C-clip inside the on the spine section of the of the cup there the shaft that goes into the female end of the diff doesn't want to let go it's a very common problem especially on a newer setup or something that's been in for a long time it gets contaminated and it just gets stuck in there and in the past it's been really hard to fix it you'd have to like grab a set of vice grips weld it onto a slide hammer and hope for the best or do all sorts of other crazy things i've seen people like connect like straps onto it and try to pull it out with another machine don't do that Go to Super ATV, buy yourself a axle puller. This thing is great. It'll save you a lot of headaches and make easy work of this. I'm gonna show you how to put that axle back together in a separate video. I'm also gonna show you how to rebuild a CV joint or do a CV boot swap. But if you wanna see that, check out the other video. This one's just about getting that axle out of the diff. So you see, you have a really, really heavy duty slide hammer here. They didn't mess around. This thing is huge and it bolts onto the cup and it does a really good job pulling it out. So let's get this thing mounted and then I'll show you how it works. Now this thing will work on pretty much any vehicle, any side-by-side, -side, any ATV. It'll even work on a car. If you wanna get this thing on there, you might have to remove one of the bolts from the bottom or the side, depending on how clearance is in your specific vehicle. There's a lip that the CV boot clamp sits in. That's a good spot to mount this thing so it doesn't slide around. You're gonna wanna get it on as straight as you can, and you're gonna wanna try your best to pull it as straight as possible. The straighter you pull it, the more likely you are to have success quickly and not potentially damage anything. Tighten these up evenly. They don't have to be crazy, crazy tight. You don't wanna damage the threads, but they do have to be on there good because you're gonna put some force on this. This has a pretty big slide hammer on it. So there's some good weight sliding back and forth. And that inertia is key. You need that big, heavy slide hammer. Make sure you get everything out of the way so that, like I said, you have a nice straight shot. Pretty good. And see how it moves around a little bit? It's, it's down right now, up right now. You wanna find that middle spot where it's floating. That's your best likelihood of getting that thing out of there. You don't want it binding. So we'll just hold it up a little bit. Don't pinch your fingers. Don't have them here anywhere at the end figure out this the, kind of the stroke there and find the middle spot and then use that weight so slide it all the way back there we go we got it that wasn't too bad sometimes they can be difficult the key is definitely getting it so that it's not binding and that it's pulling back as straight as possible. And using that inertia, this Super ATV slide hammer is huge. It's way bigger than those cheap ones you'll find on Amazon if you wanna make your own setup. So um, it's definitely worth it for this one. Popped right out, you see that? And I sprayed some lubricant in there earlier just to free up this, this C-clip, which is what was holding it, which is its job. It's supposed to hold, you want that pulling out when you drive. So um, I'd suggest cleaning that all out really nicely with a wire brush and um, also spraying some WD-40 or penetrating lube in there and wiping it all out so there's no gunk or, or crud in there. And also inspect your seal while you're in there now. Make sure there's no leaks or anything like that, no damage. This is definitely a great tool to have with you. It's a great tool to, to have in the trailer. And um, actually when we go on longer rides, uh, one of us will usually bring a tool like this because if you break an axle on the trail and you wanna replace it, Oh, there's a high likelihood this is going to happen and without the tools your spare axle is not really going to do you much good if you can't get the old one out to put the new one in and um, if you've watched a bunch of the videos in the past you've seen us using a tool like this or similar to this on the trail to extract the broken axles this thing is a lifesaver it will save you so much stress so much hassle so much cursing um, seriously get yourself one of these tools they're one of those must-haves even if you only use it once it's worth its weight in gold. The first time you use it, it's paid off. 
They're not very expensive on the Super ATV website. Here's just another look at how the axle looks mounted in there. See, it's off to one side because I had to take the bottom one out because there wasn't clearance. So we just held it in place with three. And they actually send you a spare set of bolts too in case you strip one or you need an extra one. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you're paying attention here, actually, you probably see behind here, I also have this thing. This is the tool I made before that tool was available. I bought like a $30 slide hammer on Amazon and I just welded it onto a set of vice grips and um, you'd use that. But the problem with that is you'd only get pull from one side and you wouldn't get that nice straight pull you get from here straight directly back and it was hard. So it would work eventually and it saved my butt a few times, but not as good as this for sure. This thing's way heavier duty, way more weight to it. Look at the difference in the slide hammer. This thing weighs at least three times as much as this one. Uh, and that's really what makes the difference. And that even clamping force also makes um, a huge impact on how well this thing works. Hope that video helped you guys. And um, hopefully it'll, uh, you know, help you spend some more money on a tool you didn't think you needed. <laughs> Glad I could help. As always guys, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook. You can check out our Shopify shop if you'd like to. And as always, ride safe out there. We'll see you in the next video.